Hey guys, welcome back to this new episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. Lime Uminum here. I'm so excited to be with you guys today because we're gonna do a lot of building. We have got a lot of stuff to do today. So let's start right now. And the first project we're gonna tackle is actually in here. It is the wall market that we already started next to the sheep farm. But we got a lot to do in this area. I mean, I want it to feel alive. I want it to have a lot of stores. But there is not a lot of room to work with so i was thinking that since we have this cliff in here we can maybe bring a few stalls on the cliff and stuff like that and just work with heights in here and the first thing we're gonna do is define a perimeter for this wool market and we're gonna bring an arch in this place okay we're gonna start by making this arch i was talking about at a distance of two blocks from the path uh, so like in here something like that we need to work with odd numbers, of course, for an arch. That is mandatory. Okay, let's tower up. We'll figure out the height of this thing on the way. Is this good? Okay, this should be alright. Okay, we're gonna make it three blocks thick, just like this. So we can add an accent block uh, in the middle. We're gonna start incorporating some stairs. Of course, I'm gonna mix in some stone bricks and crack stone bricks. Okay, we're just gonna add a few blocks in here just to make these pillars feel a little bit stronger. And just like they have a bit of extra support for the walls, I'm gonna mix in some striped uh, spruce logs and some striped jungle logs, just like this. I think it is looking pretty good. Alright, we'll make different heights and stuff just to have a bit of variations. And we'll stripe all the logs. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, and to add a bit of details, we'll add some spruce fences, just like this. And we're just gonna add uh, so a few cobblestone slabs and polished diorite slabs. Uh, just like mixed randomly, just to look like some kind of rocks. Oh! Hey! Hello! Okay, I better not go back to the village now. Hey, I think I'm gonna keep one of these guys. Okay, I just need to make a boat. Okay, crafting table. Let's make a boat. Yes, my dude. All right. Go in the boat. Yes. Okay. We're just gonna wait for his crossbow to run out of durability. Oh, nice shot. We've got a nice shot in here. Okay, let's finish up this thing. I just started building and my inventory is already a mess. Oh gosh. Okay, we have the bone meal box full of bone blocks. I'm just gonna bone meal the front of this place just like this so, so it looks a little bit more alive and yeah i like it with the puppies and the dandelions i think i'm gonna keep this feel so on this side i think we're gonna have to remove all of the coarse dirt and just get a lot of grass in this thing because i don't really like coarse dirt in large patches just like this one so hopefully we have the terraforming box and we gotta replace a lot of these guys Okay, let's get a name tag for our pillager. Okay, this is my last one. How are we gonna name him? Phil. It is good. I like Phil. Phil the pillager. Hello, Phil. Nice to meet you. Okay, we're actually gonna go to the warped and uh, crimson wood farming area, which is here. And yeah, maybe we can make a path going to this place. And we're gonna have some stairs in here going up. Okay, let's do that. I might have to terraform a few bits of land in here. I'm gonna fill this up. Let me just like make the path like this. And we had some coarse dirt along the path. Just to add a bit of texture. And then to go up the hill, just some slabs. Like this, alright. Same thing in here. And I was thinking that maybe to go up this thing we could have some jungle stairs. You know, since we now have access to jungle, why not use it? I really love jungle wood. Okay, and in here we'll make a small turn. Alright, like this. And then once again. Alrighty, and we'll continue the path in here. Okay, this is pretty good. So the slabs will go in here, and we'll throw a few trapdoors as well. 
All right, we got ourselves a path going up to this thing, but it is not looking pretty good. Of course, because, you know, there are just some stairs thrown like that. It's not really good looking. So what we're going to do is add some support to this thing. And I was thinking we can use some oak logs for that. Okay, so every two blocks we'll have a beam going out like this. And in here... As you can see, I've been farming a lot of wood recently. I just want to build with wood a bit more. Okay, this is already much better. We get to fill this area between the stairs with some upside down stairs, like so. And we make the, the beams uneven, like there are some that will be a bit bigger, just like this. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, and on the beams, we'll add some stun buttons, because I like that. It is a nice detail. Okay, and the last part is adding some fences just along the path so people don't fall down. And alright, I think we're gonna mix in some jungle trap doors and some orc trap doors. I love trap doors, guys. But they're so expensive, damn. That's not fair, guys. That's not fair. I feel like there should be a way, a cheaper way to have trap doors. Because gosh. Alright, guys, we have an issue and a big one. Okay, so I just finished the stair thingy and I thought like, okay, I'm just gonna fly over the balloon to see the thing. And I forgot that I had the bad omen effect on me. <laughs> and of course, an iron farm is considered as a village. So long story short, I just triggered a raid. I gotta stop doing these things. This is the second time that I trigger a raid that I don't wanna. Oh, and this is a really bad place for a raid. But I think this is a good opportunity because I wanted to get myself some Vindicators. And okay, so maybe we can trap a few of those. And just wait for the red to expire. Okay, that's that's a good solution. Alright, I think we'll do that. Okay, so very quickly I have to get rid of all my stuff. And craft a few boats to trap some Vindicators. Alright, I have to be quick. So let's go. Let's remove all of those things really quickly. Okay, let's craft some boats. Alright, they are here. So I think there are no Vindicators at the beginning. So we're gonna, just gonna take care of those guys. Oh, maybe they will fall in this thing. <laughs> that should be funny. And the last one. Alright, it should be Vindicators on the next wave. I think so. Where are those guys? Where are you? But damn it. Oh, here they are. Okay, there are some Vindicators. Okay, we need to trap these guys. Vindicator! I need you! They seem lost. It's so strange. They are not attacking me. This is so strange. Like they don't have a weapon or something? Okay, guys, what's happening is really, really strange. Okay, we have one in here. I think the Vindicators is just spawned without the weapon. <laughs> That is so strange. The first time I see something like this. Why are they not attacking me? Oh, he's gonna die. See ya. I'm so confused right now. Okay, we have two raiders remaining. So these are those two guys and we're gonna keep them. So the raid should expire pretty soon. I hope so. I now have so many boats. <laughs> All for nothing. All right, let's go back to business. Okay, we just have to make a small side path that is going to the secret entrance. All right, we got ourselves a path. It is looking pretty good. It is looking good, but yeah, you know, it's all in the same tone of color. I was thinking that maybe we can add a few rocks. You know, like maybe in here. Maybe add a pressure plate just like this. And frying some mossy cobblestone as well. And to bring a bit of colors to this place, gonna add some rose bushes just like this. Not a lot, just a few. Maybe near these things. And a few bit berries as well, like those a lot, just here and there. And a small poppy in here, okay. And in here is just looking a drier, I'm gonna add a few dead bushes, like in here. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, and finally I added some crates and some stuff with some node blocks. It looks like something that was abandoned in here on the road. Just a small details like this that bring life to the Minecraft world, I think. Okay, so lastly, we need to find a way to light up this place. I was thinking about some lanterns, but not a lot. Okay, so we have a few in here, I think, like, like one hanging from this beam. 
And another one in here. And I think we'll have a few on top of spruce fences. Just like this. Maybe in here as well. I'm out of lanterns, so I'm gonna have to craft some. And we also gonna need the oldest trick in the book with some green wool. We'll have some shroom lights and we'll cover them with some green carpet. This should do the trick. And now that I have plenty of iron, I can have plenty of lanterns. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Make a few hidden light sources just like this with some green carpet on top. Of course, we know we are in a hardcore world. We don't really want to be surprised by a creeper falling on our head. All right, back to business. We got sidetracked pretty good in here. Okay, so in the first place, we went to this place or this the secret entrance and the spot to farm some never wood. And for the first time, we're gonna farm some crimson wood. I'm gonna remove this guy. Okay, I have here some crimson lilium. Uh, we're gonna remove this and replace it. And I think I have some never acne here. Yes, okay. And we just have to bomb near this thing. Now we can turn on the crazy machine. Oh my gosh. I just love this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna farm some crimson wood for a while and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. So let's go. Okay guys, we are back. All right, we gotta finish up this arch in here. Um, so I was thinking about what accents block to use in this thing, in this arch. And maybe we're gonna use some crimson just like this and some neverwart block would be good as well. We'll use the crimson, but like stripped like that it looks way better uh, the color is less vivid and it blends in pretty well with the wall we've got in here okay we'll do that all right this is actually pretty good i like it a lot and the next thing we gotta do i think is fix this tree i don't like it very much i want it to be like taller and maybe have some higher leaves or something We'll remove all the leaves and okay so the leaves are not really good looking in like a savanna environment i don't really like the color so we have two options there are two kind of leaves that do not obey the typical uh, color of the biome it's the birch leaves and the spruce leaves i'm gonna go bring some to show you guys all right back with the leaves so this is the orc leaves and in here we got the spruce so we got this color maybe a bit too dark in my opinion and then we have our best option and thing the birch leaves hmm let's think about it for a minute or maybe we could use both maybe we could use some spruce mixed in with some birch will it look good i think this this two blends quite well okay we'll try that anyway we'll have to remove all of these leaves Okay, so the first thing to do when working on a custom tree like this is figuring out the shape of the trunks and the branches you want to have. But for this tree, I would like to have something that goes higher maybe, more in this direction because in here we'll have a lot of shops on the cliff. So I don't want it to obstruct the view too much. I'm gonna remove those. And from here, we're gonna branch like this. Okay, this is pretty good. And the same thing about the same height. This direction, a bit higher, yes. All right. And we'll have a central one. All right, I think it's a good start. Now for the foliage. We'll just have to get the very rough shapes in for the top part and trying to mix up the leaves. Okay, this is a pretty good starting place. Now we're gonna try to work our way down from the top. Now we gotta work on the side bushes, like, you know, they are little branches. Okay, for the final touches, we're gonna go back to the top and just randomly remove some blocks, just to give it a little more shape. A useful advice if you're working in a custom tree just like this one is to try, take a look at it from different perspectives. It greatly helps with the design. From this angle, I pretty much like it. But if I try to go in here, yeah, it is more blocky. So I may have to remove one or two blocks in here, just like this one. Yeah, and really try to have a natural slope of the leaves going on. It really helps with the feeling of this. This thing is alive, you know. Okay, my shield's just broken. I think we got a pretty nice shape in here. I like it very much. 
What I like to do when I'm at this stage is removing all of these like logs, fronts showing, and just replace them with the, I don't know what it's called, like the oak wood, just the wood, okay. Just to cover these spots in here. I'm not gonna replace all of those, but yeah, just the obvious showing ones. If there are one or two that are remaining, it's not a big deal because yeah, it just adds a bit of texture to the tree, so just like this one for example. And I don't really like this side, it's way too flat in my opinion. Okay, this is much better now. It took way too much time in my opinion to do this thing, but yeah, at least we've got a decent tree. That's the most important thing. Since we're caring about the leaves business, I was thinking that maybe we could add a bunch of leaves to this thing, because for now it is just looking a bit out of place, and I think if we add a lot more leaves, it should at least be in the same theme as the, um, as the tree. I'm gonna add a bunch of those just randomly, just like this, and go on a bit of a swirl around this arch. It would be pretty great. Alright, this is much better now. Okay, now we can start working on our wool market. And I think the first kind of store we're gonna do is in here. So we're gonna remove all of this dirt. Okay, and on all of this build, we are gonna try to use every single type of wood that there is in the game. Just to add a bit of colors and stuff. It'll be fun. First all is gonna be in here. Just in the middle of our shulker box. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna make this one out of dark oak. And we're gonna sprinkle in some spruce trap doors just like this. Maybe an oak trap door. Okay, that's pretty good. And we're gonna add some spruce fences to go up. We're gonna go one block higher. Then we're gonna add some wool. And since we have a lot of wool to choose from, which color are we gonna use? Okay, we're gonna go with magenta plus cyan. We'll go for a different pattern for each stall. For this one, we'll start in the simplest way. Stripes. Now we're gonna go up this thing. Yay, just like this. And we're gonna go one block higher once again. And we're gonna have some hanging lanterns. All right, in here and maybe here. And we're gonna have a few levers in here, just like this. Now for the background, we're gonna remove all of this dirt. Not looking really good. Okay, so in the background, we're gonna have some stone. Maybe we can try to mix in some polished andesite and stone bricks. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Now, we'll have to figure out what each of every stall that we'll be making here will be setting. And I think this one could be like the carpet setting thing. We'll have a few carpets like this. Basically, it'll go around with anything you can craft with wool. So, so this one is the carpet stall. We'll have one for beds. We'll have one for banners also. There are a lot of stuff you can craft with wool. And we're gonna make a display out of this. With these trapdoors, we could have a few of them on display. Alright. This is looking way better. Let's try to work on more of a sprucey one. Maybe in here, and this time do it with some barrels. I like barrels, they're good looking. And this time I feel like using some acacia wood, some acacia fences. Yeah, I like that. This is a bit orange, so yeah, so we can try to make it work with some orange wool. Orange and white, maybe? We'll try to make it like more of a checkboard, checker, checkerboard. I don't know guys, I don't speak English. You know what could be fun? Like acacia trapdoors. Okay, so this is the bed store. So it will have to be a bit deeper. In here I'll have some spruce stairs. Yeah, just like this. And a few barrels. And a few trapdoors. Okay, maybe not trapdoors. Maybe something a bit bigger, like slabs. All right. I thought what we could have is a crafting table floor, just to be a bit crazy. It does look good with the spruce and the, the acacia. Okay, I like this kind of design. It looks a bit more fancy, but you know, you know that the person who is selling beds is like the fancier merchants in the area. Okay, and we'll have a few item frames on the back, just to display a few beds. And don't forget the lanterns, of course. 
Alright, so on the side of the main path in here, I was thinking we could make something. Some stalls, like they have some kind of wheels. With some old trapdoors, like this. Keeping it simple and very, very small. Alright, we'll make it out of the spruce with some spruce fences. Okay, this looks pretty good, I like it. Maybe we could have some slabs on the sides. Uh, just like this, and we'll remove this one. This way we can hang a few lanterns in here. And finally, we can have some carpets on top. This thing's, uh, this slab in here looks like it can retract and the thing can move on. <laughs> Maybe we could have the same, like, overhang on both sides. Okay, this looks really good in my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna have a few of these stalls, like this one and this one, the bigger ones. Uh, we'll have to make a, like, a small sheep pen in here. Like that, we'll have the sheeps right next to the wool market. That makes a lot of sense. We'll have to figure out a cover for this thing, for the chests, made out of wool, of course. And we'll have to have a few store, a few stalls up in the air. I like that a lot. We'll have a few banners hanging around everywhere. And I think for the rest of this wool market, we're gonna have it in the form of a time lapse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. It's time lapse time. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse. So let me run you through this amazing marketplace that we just did. I love it so much. With shaders on, of course, because I feel like it. Just don't look at all these shulker boxes. There are a lot of random stuff in it. It's not really important. Okay, so as we run around this thing, we have a first stall in here that is setting some carpets. But it's kind of area with a kind of broken feel that I like a lot. Uh, with some kind of fabric that is affected by gravity just like this and we have all of our chests Oh, so the cyan wool is pretty empty <laughs> right now. I use a lot of cyan in my builds Okay, we have a second stall in here that is selling beds with all different kinds of beds We have this place that is selling some bluish wool with a small chair for the owner to just sit down Maybe it's a bit old, he cannot stand up all day And we have this last stall with a more dark feel with some dark oak and some black wool And we have some banners in here We have these small stalls that are selling one type of wool And one carpet in here uh, just mobile stalls that can go away. Okay, and then we have this small staircase that is going up in here. So we are going up this thing. And we have a balcony in here, some lecterns. Just like small columns in balconies. And we have a small place in here to sit down, relax. If you are tired from shopping in the marketplace. And it is connecting in the opposite direction to the staircase that we just did. And in here we have a small place also to watch the sunset and watch the balloons. It is a really great place, I like it a lot. And we have another stall in here that has every type of wool that you can find on these shelves. So the sun is setting and we can take a look at it uh, in the night. It looks really really good. And in here we have another functional room that we'll be using a lot I think. This will be the place where we will craft the banners when we want to work with banners. So we have a lot of looms in here. We have some barrels, some storage area. So we have some uh, with all the dyes and a barrel in here for the banner patterns if you ever want to use them. Everything is pretty much spawn proof except this roof. I think it is not. We have some sign and orange banners in there. 
and over there we have some red and white unfortunately while i was adding those the replay mode crashed so it isn't in a time lapse but yeah it's not a big deal okay guys i think we're gonna leave it at that for today i hope you enjoyed this episode as much as i did if you made it this far in the video you're the best i like you a lot thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one like Muminum, out.